Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to use DD command in Kali Linux. DD command stands for disk destroyer, you can call it disk duplicate duplicator also. So let us first see the man page of DD command. For that purpose type man. DD. As you can see, this is the man page of DD command. You can read more about this. BS stands for bytes, read and write up to bytes at a time. And this C and V stands for convert the file as per the comma separated symbol list. And there are some other options as well which you can use for that. For example, this is OF4 output file of of like write as per the comma separated symbol so this is how you can read more about this <coughs> without wasting time let's get started the first first use of dd command let's see the first use of dd command with the help of dd command we, we can create the duplicate of a file as you can see let me first go to the desktop okay <coughs> as you can see there are two files on my desktop one is demo.txt another is source.txt so what is in source.txt i have written that this is source file content so i am going to duplicate this source file so for that purpose i will type sudo dd input file this source.txt and of stands for output file so i will name this file output.txt and uh, then i will press enter now as you can see 29 bytes have been copied so let us see the content of the output file as you can see the source file content has been copied into this output.txt file this is how you can duplicate a file with the help of dt command let me clear the terminal now as you can see the content of the source.txt file is in the upper piece so these are capital letters so if you want to change the case of this content we can use We will use the same command again and then we will use CONB which stands for convert and L case. So what this option will do is this will convert the letters to lower case. So now if we press enter and if I again check the content of my output.txt file you can see that the letters are written in lower case and if you want to change <laughs> if you want the content in the upper case you can change this l to u which stands for upper case and you can press enter and the content will be copied in the upper case letters so this is how you can duplicate a file now what this dd command does is it actually, it actually replaces, replaces the output file suppose now i i have another file by the name of dd as you can see here and the content in the dd file is demo.txt now if i want to duplicate this demo.txt file I will again type ddif demo.txt or now if I name it ta output.txt what this command will do is it will replace this output.txt file so let me show you if I press enter you can see the content of the output file by typing this cat command as you can see the content has been replaced so this command has replaced the output.txt file 
so in order to prevent this overwriting what we can do is what we can do here is we can use certain options in our dd command to prevent this from happening so as the duplicate of the source file has been overwritten let me again create a duplicate so duplicate file of this source.txt file by using dd command so again i will type to sudo dd space if equal to source.txt an output file now i will have to name it i will have to use a different name of, of this output file since the output.txt file already exists on the desktop suppose i don't know that if if the if any file exists by the name output.txt file and i type it i will i name it output.txt so in order to prevent the overwriting of uh, <coughs> already existing output.txt file what i can do is i can mention i can use certain options in my command to prevent this from happening for that purpose i will use cnv equal to no trunk what this no trunk will do is that it will not erase the content of this output.txt file and now i can use i will have to use another uh, another uh, uh, option which is of another flag which is off flag is equal to append and exclusive comma exclusive <laughs> what this command will do is if the output.txt file already exists then this command will fail so let me show you if i press enter as you can see it is showing the this command failed because of this as exclusive flag because this output.txt file is already exists okay <coughs> so let me uh, now what if we want to append the content in this output.txt file let me again show you the content of this uh, source.txt file as you can see the content is this is source file content and the content of the output.txt file is this is demo file content what is if i want to append the content of the source.txt file into this output.txt file for that purpose i will use certain other options and uh, let me show you that so for that purpose i will type sudo dd if for input file source.txt that output file is equal to output.txt conversion is equal to no trunk this no trunk will not erase will tell this command not to erase the content of the output dot txt file and this off lag is equal to append now what this command will do is this command will append the content of source dot txt file into this output dot txt file rather than overwriting it so let me press enter as you can see 29 bytes have been copied now if we check the content of the output.txt file as you can see the content of the source file has been appended to this output.txt file so this is how you can use the dd command in kali linux let me show you another use of this dd command with the help of this dd command we can we can create the image of a pen drive a hard disk for uh, performing some forensic of op of op forensic uh, functions so i have already inserted a already attached a usb sand disk pen drive to this uh, kali linux system let me show you lsbsk 
<coughs> think I mistyped the command LK, I think. Okay, so I mistyped the command. It is LSPLK. So as you can see, this SDB1 is my SanDisk pen drive, <coughs> and I want to create the image of this pen drive. For that purpose, I will type sudo input file is equal to slash dev slash sdb1 is equal to output file i will name it output.img and i can also mention the block size if i want to create a bit by bit image for that purpose if i want to create the bit by bit image for that purpose i will use the block size equal to 1 but this is going to take a very long time so in order to increase the efficiency we can increase this block size to 1 5 1 <coughs> 2 so even if we don't mention it the default the default uh, default uh, block size will repeat 1 5 and 2 bytes so <coughs> So let me use it bs is equal to 512 and another thing we will use is crv is equal to no error slash <coughs> sync so what it will do is it means it will continue copying even if it encounters read errors and this sync option ensures that the output is padded with zeros if the input data ends before a block is filled <coughs> sorry for this uh, disturbance so now let us press enter i think i made some mistake here sdb1 Okay, I forgot to type the DD in front of sudo. So now if I press enter, <coughs> as you can see, the it has started opening, it has started creating the image of this of my pen drive but it is not showing the progress here so let me cancel this command <coughs> let me stop this process again and clear the terminal so in order to show the progress in order to see the progress of this process we can use another option which is which is status is equal to progress so what this option will do is it will show us the progress of the process now if i press enter as you can see you can see the progress so this much byte has been copied and you can also see the speed of the process <coughs> now it is going to take a very long time let me cancel this process <coughs> so this is the use of uh, dd command in kali linux i hope you got to learn something from this video if you like if you liked this video then don't forget to share it <coughs> with your friends and press the like button subscribe to this channel thanks for watching this video